Next up, we have the links. Now on these, it helps if you have a tape measure or a ruler so that you can measure out and see which ones are which. I guess these are one-to-one -one pictures though, so you can just compare to the pictures if you don't have a tape measure or a ruler in millimeters. Basically, the longest one is gonna be your tie rod between the tires. The two shortest one's gonna be your drag link from the servo to one of the tires. The other one's gonna be your track bar. Then moving up is gonna be the upper control arm on the front, lower control arms on the front, upper control arms on the rear, lower control arms on the rear. Now the only Another thing to note is you have three different style end links. Um, there's this one that curves. There's the straight style where it's just straight. <clears throat> and there's also this style where it curves but in a different direction than this one. So just note in the instructions um, the style and the orientation of them as well as the orientation of the insert that gets pressed in. One end has a little boss, the other end is just, just straight. Otherwise, my recommendation is um, threading the threaded part into the plastic with your Allen wrench and finding out how far in it needs to thread Use that as a reference to thread all the other ones in, and then thread it into the metal. And there's no need to use thread lock because <clears throat> once both ends are secured in place, there's no way that it can loosen. Because loosening, <clears throat> if you were to twist the metal um, piece, loosening one end would be tightening the other end, so it can't loosen. Otherwise, these are pretty simple to assemble. The only other note is you do want, um, when you finish tightening these off, you do want to leave some room to tighten them down a little bit just to make sure, they're sure that there's no slop. Okay, so I believe this is pretty much what it is supposed to look like when you're done. This is the rear, of course. And here's the front. Your track bar. Your drag link. Now I got two things to note. I switched the screw that they recommend you putting here with the screw that they recommend putting here. They have a 25 millimeter screw for here that would come clean across like it does on the rear here. But since there's only one upper control arm on the front, you don't need it to come all the way across. So this screw that's in there, they recommended putting here, and it did not thread all the way through. It only threads part way through this bottom piece. So I figured that being for the steering, probably not a good idea. So I switched those screws around. And one other thing to note, something interesting on the rear axle here, the bearing goes on the way outside um, in the actual straight end piece, 
but there is room for a bearing in here and looking at the drawing there's room for the bearing right in there and the axle shaft is machined to fit the bearing however the bearing that they provide you they say it goes on this side of the axle shaft and then it goes into the end piece <clears throat> but what I'm gonna do is install extra bearings that I had laying around into the axle here and that will keep the axle sealed up better because right now you have this slit um, to slide the end pieces on and I could pot potentially see water getting in there and then running in the axle tube into the differential. With the bearing placed in here, any water that gets in there will just be trapped in this end piece. So a quick tip, um, it takes the same size bearings as in here or uh, the size for the pinion there or the size for um, the steering knuckle right there. And on the front axle, they even they have you put a bearing in there. On the rear, they don't, but I'm going to put one in anyway.